Hello everyone, welcome to CyberDucky. Today's uh, video we're going to look into a new series of videos. So I was thinking how to deliver the you know the better content as uh, to learn more networking stuff. But I thought it would be more better if I bring my experience how I you know started as an IT guy or help desk then slowly move into the network engineer right so <coughs> i thought bring those experience the life how i started on that based on that i would like to do a video moving forward i try to post at least a weekly three video or uh, if i can every day i put but no promises on that because i also be working so i may have no time sometime but i committed to do this so i want to show someone who's struggling to get into a career or someone who don't know what to do with their life if they saw this video i want them to be helpful for them to build their career and get into a good life <coughs> so th that's what i want to do so please watch full video or full series as long as i am able to post so the scenario is that you know you are someone new to it world you got your first job in ducky.com so that is the company you're gonna work and so they hired you as a IT guy you're gonna help and eventually we're gonna build network skills and then based on that how to become a network engineer how to design a network how to do working with routing protocols how to do policies and how to you know all this stuff we're gonna discuss it will be a lot of you know every day, like long period of time but i'm trying to limit the video or the the period of each video to 10 to 15 minutes i don't want to take too long so every day i would find out some important stuff then uh, based on that we will build slowly we build a network then connect another network then we will see what other problems we are face facing then from there how we learn new skills so from your side what i need you to do is that if you are someone who coming to learn uh network and please install and set up um, packet tracer so if you don't know what is packet tracer packet tracer is a, it's a simulator to bring a lot of network equipments and like virtualized then we test network configurations and build designs it's not advanced um simulator but i think this is better to start because initially i thought it's doing from gns3 but gns3 is more advanced user i believe so uh, certain things doing is very complicated on that like especially the end user so because my plan is to introduce from you know zero so the company what we are going to start is they have only some system and some laptops and some printers and they don't know what is network so we're going to learn to to uh, project what is network to the manager and then from there we get a budget then we buy equipment equipment like a switchers routers then we build and we secure from there we we will see how the company grow based on that we will improve our network connectivities and requirements so th that's the basic idea <coughs> and topics i want to cover is that uh, network fundamentals and network access it uh, ip connectivity and ip services <coughs> and security foundations fundamentals <coughs> these are the thing so the question if you may have why you want to become a network engineer right so network engineer role job is not <coughs> um, i mean very demand role nowadays because it's very difficult to find some network engineers who knows how to you know really do many things so i and i want to show um what what how much you can earn you know if you become a proper network engineer you know what kind of a job you can um, take or what type of jobs you will be able to get in around the world so let me show you some of the uh, things i found in google at the moment so network engineer salary in singapore is 5000 plus depends on company it can dip go up and down based on experience so if you see here <coughs> we have some companies are offering uh you know five to seven based on what other things you can do maybe there's 24 by 7 all this stuff also will coming with that because network engineer role is like uh, putting a road in uh, you know 
so the data can go so it's like a very very important business and because everything is connected through internet right so internet is all basically the collection of networks so that's what you can see here it's you know area to area if you're working in raffles you earn this much autumn if they i mean but if you see if you're coming from different country you can just go to indeed and see your country example i have a lot of audience coming from us so you um okay this one basic based in singapore right so we need to go to us side to see that uh, let me see if i can go to this So this is the states, okay. So if you are coming from America or United States of America, whatever you you call it. <coughs> so if you see here, they have uh, also uh, they are paying 195k Singapore. How much they are paying? Uh, they are going per month. Okay, let's go per year. Uh, per year, 72,000 Sing dollars, not USDs. So it's closely around 50,000. Again, this is also I think per area to area. So some companies are they are paying 115, 115k. You know, if you're working in like a DC or Washington DC, you will earn like more money. Or but again, you will have sell challenges locally like cost of living, all those stuff. As a junior, you earn in US per year is seventy thousand per year. As senior, you can go up to hundred and seventeen. So. I don't know whether networks network security engineer may be a little bit different if you are specialized in security also. So let's see how the story works for them. It's also the same, but what what we are seeing is that highest you can go is hundred eight seventy hundred and eighty three. Again, if you are starting, uh, I think there is no information on that, but it's it's almost like network and it, if you are if you are getting to network security you can go into cyber security as well then it, we will get more opportunities like s these type of roles uh, working for banks right so it's very stressful job in banks but again it may be worth it if you are someone who like to get you know stress and get paid for your stress like me <coughs> okay uh, yeah so this one but yeah it's wrong it's uh, i think this is wrong salary per month yeah so if you are a network in security security engineer in singapore you get earn like six ninety ninety six thousand again it depend on company to company com so again if you can see these all differ based on locations so I'm sure. So this is the story. If you want to become a network engineer, that is a is it long. It, it's a long road. You need to spend at least three to four years, or I would say minimum two years. You know, to learn certain things, then you definitely you can achieve this. And yeah, so these are the my main target audience, I think. But I know that there are some other fo followers coming from US and India as well. Let's see India. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay let's see indeed India so this is per month let's go by annum because we okay they are paying one two point eighty four million I mean two point eight million you can earn if you are I think should be experienced engineer so it looks very promising but uh, I don't know how much is in you know sing dollar and US dollar these salaries but if you're even a local in Indian India, you're coming from in India, then definitely you will you know what are this means. So now the question is how to get into there. So for that we will learn certain network skills, right? So example, um, what is IP address? We start from basic you now the OSI model. <coughs> Sorry, OSI layer. Uh, how to understand the network from its own language? So so for that we will go through the found found the fundamentals right so like we i want to set up this experience to 
is like you are an IT guy you know how windows works you know how printer works then you are getting into a job you're seeing a network you need to do something but instead of you are outsourcing to somebody else so you know through your some education you know you know maybe you have done some certification or maybe done some you know degree so you want to use those in those knowledge to leverage your to the networking part so but i will try to guide you from basic why and what and how from an a job perspective so i want if you are watching this for continuously you should be able to build a network for your your company or you're working as a IT guy but you know you watch this my video for a few times you understand certain things then should be able to build and go for certifications you know that that's how i want to do these videos so that's the story background okay the, so what i'm gonna do is like you have joined the company okay so this is how i want to take it so you have joined the company as IT guy you come in and see you have printers and desktop laptops and the company want them to work together and use the you know opportunity what network gives right so so from the next video next week on next week or in the next video onwards we'll talk about how to connect those um these uh things or these systems and how to divide them and how you know we will try to do a, a system or uh, that you can follow if you are in a really an environment where that thing is connected okay what you need to do right you you need to gain those you know kind of uh, knowledge here so that's what i'm trying to do from in, uh, this series onwards so this is what i want to give you today i don't want to take too long it's already like coming to 12 minutes i I'm trying to keep it less than that so that is my introduction and hope this is informative and hope you see hope to see you guys in another video with more advanced or more we will go learning through more other learning st stuff about network and thank you for your time and see you again